Hello friends, this is Aggie from Amazing Pottery. I'm gonna show you today how to paint uh, this little bird dish as a blue jay. So I have a little, uh, in my film, uh, I have a picture of a blue jay here. I'm gonna get it inspired by this picture. Uh, in your kit, you will find uh, this dish and colors, two uh, mm, blue colors, like, this is one color, but uh, two containers of blue, black, gray, and white. And we're gonna do some mixing too. So you will need to get some water. You have your brush here. We provide uh, one brush, but you can use your own brushes if you want. Uh, I uh, got myself a little paper plate as my pa as a, uh, for my palette. Uh, and you can use, if you want, if you don't have paper plate, uh, you can use back of your uh, little bag, uh, which was provided for uh, as a packaging. So what we're gonna start with is the white color on the belly. Uh, so I opened the, um, oh, also you have to have a little bit of paper towel or um, napkins, uh, which we're gonna use to wipe our brush after we clean the brush after the color change. Let's open our uh, white. Ooh. And today we are painting with make and take colors, which are acrylic based. So uh, I'm gonna open white and gray first, and we're gonna uh, paint uh, the uh, bird's belly and his face because uh, they have like white face and one white belly and then we're gonna shade it a little bit with gray. So just uh, Gonna use your brush and nicely paint the, um, the Belly You can paint the, the inside edges too. This part, I'm gonna hold the like this. You wanna cover all the spots inside of this part, beak as well. The one thing I'm not covering is this top top part here because that's gonna be the uh, birds um, uh, top of the head which they have blue but I'm also for now I'm just painting the beak too I'm just not painting this part we also can paint this part white little brush strokes that's okay the paint is still drying so that's how it looks mm, trying to get better light here okay uh, for now I'm gonna clean my brush because I think I'm just gonna go to the top part because we may need few coats so we clean your brush wipe it on the paper towel close your white and gray paint I think I'm gonna use the gray later and I'm starting with my blue part if you're uh, it's always good to start with uh, mixing your paint a little bit Now we are painting the top part, just the wing inside. Mm, this color is very nice. Painting the wing inside and we will, uh, building up the layers on the top. This one has much more better coverage than the white one and that's normal in paints. 
Yeah, painting all the parts here to the um, also the in, in, internal part and remember this is art this doesn't have to be like ideal uh, there's no mistakes most of the mistakes we can fix okay we have a nicely little tail we are moving to the top part i'm trying to very slowly go on the edge here You can stop this video anytime if you want to take your time. And so that's my blue part. Now I'm gonna go and from the beak here to this part, paint this internal part blue on that little edge. Now you can see that your white white paint will be mixing a little bit with the white underneath. The, the blue paint will be mixing a little bit with the white part underneath. See, that's how it looks for now, so far. And we're gonna let it dry a little bit. A few minutes passed and our dish is almost dry. I'm gonna go with one more coat of white color on the belly. Oh. Here we are mixing a little bit of white. And gonna My brush looks like I didn't clean it very well so it's a little like has a little bit residue of blue uh, I don't care I will add a little bit of gray and blue because the uh, the belly of the bird is not totally white we're gonna add a little gray so don't worry we're gonna it's gonna all work out If you get a little bit on the blue, don't worry too. We're gonna all, we can always cover it with the darker color. So much easier to cover uh, lighter with darker than the opposite way. So the first two steps is just painting this part white, the other part blue. That's what I'm gonna do. You can just uh, rewind the video or uh, enjoy yourself doing that. I'm not doing anything else, just doing the two base coats of the same exactly color. Now I'm gonna, again, I clean my brush, I wipe it on the paper towel. And now I'm painting the top part blue. the more most fun it's gonna happen when we're gonna start mixing the colors so if you are for some reason in any rush and which i don't recommend because this should be relaxing activity <laughs> You can also bring your blow dryer and bl blow dry the dish from um, distance. It has to be minimum 20, 20 inches, 25 inches, not too close between coats. But I, as I say, I don't recommend it. You wanna stretch the activity. Uh, so now we have two nice coats of white and blue. We're gonna let it dry again. So, as you notice, you have a little bit of um, little empty container here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, make ourselves a little bit of uh, 
lighter blue so we're gonna put few scoops of the white paint here then go to our open container of blue and add one or two maybe two scoops of the, this blue now we're gonna mix it and this way we have a little bit of lighter blue here so now we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna use this lighter blue to add a little um few streaks of lighter blue for shading on the um, wings it's very very so we're gonna do lines from the top to the bottom like this way press firmly here and here we are. I'm just gonna show you on the plate how it should go because it's very, it's dark on dark, so it's very hard. So generally what you do, you're gonna push your brush and then go along this way. On the, so that's the first few strokes, okay? Now we're gonna wash our brush a little bit and I would like to add some, more white to it so we're gonna create a little bit whiter lighter blue color so um, I'm gonna again add a little bit more of the white to the our mixture of blue this way we have a little bit lighter blue and we can do a few more strokes of the lighter color again press here and goes like this maybe two or three and we can also do on this edge here see it's just a little shade and I would do it a little bit on top of the bird's head just maybe one or two strokes they don't have to be ideal now we're gonna clean our brush again wipe it what we're gonna go for now it's the gray so you can close your blue if you want. You can keep the white open. Maybe we'll dig into it a little bit. And now I'm gonna do the little streaks on the belly. So again, I'm gonna show you first on the, uh, on the plate. You dip your uh, brush in the uh, gray. And first go on a plate or some like surface that you have to try on. You can do a little bit with top of your brush those little kind of stamps like this again so the first few stamps i would do on the plate and then when the brush gets dry more dry go on the on the bird so i'm gonna try on my my bird and i'm just gonna do on the bottom of the belly so dipping here few stripes here because we don't want it too cakey and then we go gonna go here like just to make it a little 3D and you change the directions of, of your brush. See with the one dip, dip of the paint goes a long time, see? Because we don't want a 2K key, we want a very nice, delicate, like feathery look. See, I still go with the one gray dip and I still See, I have all those little like points. I'm rotating my brush. Going all the way here. So again, this is not smudging. See, this is only one rotation of the brush. O only one dip of the brush. So we are not doing anything else, just a little dip here. So that's what we have here and I will use again gray now we're gonna paint this part here this under the wing so we're gonna have our gray and what we're gonna do you're gonna try again on the little plate or like piece of like paper that you have we're gonna do just 
little like dashes like this. But the first dash, I will totally, first two dashes I will put on the, uh, on the paper or a plate that you use as your palette. We don't want too much excess of the gray. So here we are, I have my first two here and then I'm gonna go to my bird and I'm gonna start here, not too high, just under on the other side under the beak. So we're gonna do this. See how it goes? I'm gonna again dip my brush here, few here, three here, and fourth and fifth here. So you see that little looks like little feathers. I would do the same on the other side, inside of the wing. And you can go to the end of your bird so it's it's gonna be um uh the style is gonna be between like more maybe like it's not gonna be realistic it's more gonna be more like a little like folk folk design but i think it's gonna be beautiful so now i'm gonna work more here on the um on the wing and I'm just gonna show you again the picture that I found online. So that's how they look here. We're gonna work a little bit on now on the top and see the black kind of like necklace they have. So I'm gonna work with that. I'm gonna work more on the top. I'm gonna add some light on the top and I'm gonna add a little bit of like black neck ne necklace here. So let's start with the white on the top. I'm gonna open my white. And I'm just gonna go, oh my God, it's very hard to get to the camera. I'm gonna go a little bit like lines like this with the side brush, see? Not with the flat part, but this way. So generally to show you on the plate, you are going opposite to this, you're going this way. The brush is kind of stiff. Of course you can use five different brushes if you have them at home, but I teach this class just to show you how to use this one brush that we provide. Not the best brush, but still you can do a lot with this. So you have that little nice top of the head. And now we're gonna open our black. Oops, I'm gonna close my gray, I'm gonna close my white. I don't wanna spill those paints here on my desk. And let's see what we can do. So the necklace kind of comes from the back of the head to the, under the beak. Uh, I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to work on my plate and see what would work the best. I'm dipping my top of the brush with black and I'm gonna see if those little dots would work. Like those little like dashes. I think those are gonna be the best way to do the little necklace. So again, I would start with dipping the brush here, put the first few dots on the paper, and then work yourself from the, almost from the top here, to the under the throat, kind of along the, this line, see? And we're gonna dip the brush again and do another line with that. Okay. 
This way it looks like a little feathery. And I would add a little bit black to the top of his head. And I would add exactly the same way as I did here. So kind of like almost adding the three-dimensional be something like this the eye I'm gonna do on the very very end now the bottom of the beak is black so since we are actually doing black I would dip our brush in black and try to have a little bit again the top of the brush with the longer um, alongside I would just do a little bit of painting like this. So we are going from the out inside ending on the very end of the beak. So we have a little black uh, beak now. Hmm, I like it so far. Now we have the necklace we have the beak. I think we can go with adding a little bit of details to uh, the wing of the uh, bird. So just to show you again, they have those beautiful patterns on, uh, on their tail and on their wings. I'm just gonna try to make it very simple and using white and black i'm gonna just add little dashes exactly like those on the top so generally i'm gonna use white first with the flat brush i'm gonna just go and starting here do like a few lines across the bird and I'm gonna repeat them in f f a little bit farther maybe like inch farther see I'm washing my brush so now we can either wait if you don't wanna this white to be a little bit mixed or uh, what I like to do, I like to kind of like work now when this is still wet, so they're gonna smudge a little bit. But if you are not feeling comfortable, you can now wait till your uh, white dashes are white uh, are dry. I'm, I dip my brush into black color and I, I practice my black little uh, feathers on the paper. So it's gonna be like this. They can go straight like this, or they can go from the top a little bit curl like this. I think those are representing out their feathers better. So again, I'm gonna go from the back to the front and do something like this. This way, we know that this is Blue Jay. It's not realistic, it's not abstract. It's a little bit like geometrical. I think I like it. And I would go a little bit more here with the same design. So you can take, uh, but to make it like more interesting, I wouldn't use the flat brush now. I would use the this part of the brush. I would make it the this way so that would be like so now we're gonna follow the our gray uh gray lines here in this indent and we're gonna paint with this way see 
now washing the brush again our water getting really dirty i should probably change it now if i want to have that clear clear white but i don't really care because other colors can mix a little bit now i have my white and i do along you can go over now because the gray little dots are uh the, the dashes are dry you can go over remember don't do it with the flat part of the brush first you Press firmly and then let it go and let it go. So that's what we have here. Now I'm going to open my light blue, the one that you mixed before. And I'm going to do very similar pattern as you have here inside between the gray lines with my little blue. So again, this part of the brush and we're gonna do lines like this. Not this, we're gonna do this. So the thinner way. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I barely can see what I'm doing, but I want you to see. And now when you have this blue color, you can add a little bit of this dashes on the bottom of the blue color here. So it's almost dry, it goes a long way. And you can go with the blue a little bit on the throat going down. So it's kind of mixing in. So now we have that 3D effect. I think one thing we are missing now, it's the nice eye. And now I'm gonna show you a trick we're gonna dip the back of the uh, brush into white and I'm gonna show you the trick first of the paper. You have a blob of white. Now you wipe your end of the brush, your paper towel, dip your end of the brush in black and here's my, here's my blob, do a little like See, this is this is gonna be our eye. So now I can do it on the plate. You can practice a few times on the um, on your uh, bird. I think I'm gonna uh, place my eye kind of like close to the beak, and then I'm gonna see if we need anything else. So I have my eye here. Now I'm wiping my end of the brush, dipping in the white, and I'm, I'm adding a little. So it's gonna look like this. I think it is a little bit too small. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect it later with my, um, uh, when this is dry, we're gonna do one more part, which is adding a little bit color around the eye. As you can see, they have like, little color around the eye and ends and uh, it's connected to the back but we have to dry we don't want to mess up this eye so the eye is almost dry what i decided to do is to use the end of the brush to um, make that frame of the eye and it's just gonna be that so i'm dipping my brush here in black and i'm starting from the closest part of the beak going around the eye with little dots and now to the top so you have something like this now I'm dipping it again and I'm gonna go to the back of the head see something like this
So I think this would be the end of our little bird. If you want, and you still have time, and you have paints left, I recommend to play with the end of the brush. So what you can do, you can open your uh, white color now and do little mandala techniques. So you're dipping your um, uh, brush into uh, white. The most important mandala technique is to um, use um, kind of like end of the brush. You can use something like, you know, end of the pen, depends on how big you wanna have the, uh, the, um, the dots. What I'm gonna show you, it's kind of like grading. The best effect is if you do the a uh, few brushes from one dip. So it means that you start first dip like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it goes all the way down. See, don't do this like you wanna have those to have the effect of the biggest to smallest. You can go again. You can do it in a little arch. So on the um, bird's uh, wing, we can play with those. And the best is like to have it them with contrast. So I'm gonna do some whites along the lines of the bottom line. Uh -huh. And now I'm gonna do for the contrast black. Between those, I'm gonna do black. I can go probably as much as 10 or 11. Just keep going till the brush is dry. See? If you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to do that. Your uh, bird is gonna look very nice, but you can do it. Also, if you want and you have fun with that, you can do it on the back. You don't want to do too much. Sometimes less is more, but I think I, I like this design. You can do like maybe one on the back and the opposite way. Now you can start from the design and end it on the tail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, it goes all the way out, out here. And that will be probably the end of our class today. You can, if you have extra paint, you can paint the sides of your bird with black or blue or white, depends on what paint you have left. And if you want this to be uh, easier to clean, you can cover it with a uh, very thin, after this everything is dry, you can cover it with very thin um, layer of Mudge Patch. This way, it's gonna be easier to clean and undust. It's not, uh, um, this is not gonna be uh, uh, food safe, but it's a great uh, decoration. Uh, and you can also use it for like dry foods, like nuts or something like that. But I would recommend it mostly for decoration. And have you a great day and thank you for watching me.